All right, so we've got this sample here. First thing I need to do though is warp it. All of this stuff is probably gonna be like an intro. So right here, this will be the part that I'm gonna actually use. You can tell it kind of speeds up and slows down. Which is going to be no good for adding drums to it. So probably going to pick something from in there, so I don't really luckily need to warp much more than that. So uh, I pulled it in and it warped automatically, <clears throat> or at least warp, warp turned on automatically. And then I shut it off. When you turn it back on on the clip, it does ask you about the clip's current timing. Choose yes to insert warp markers such that the clip retains its current timing, or choose no to revert to the previous set of warp markers. So I don't really care. It's fine how it is. I can hit yes, and it just leaves it alone. OK, so the first thing we're going to do is go into the very beginning of the audio. Uh, you can see Live has decided it's right about here. It goes a little bit further over there, but so quiet at this point I can actually probably use their recommendation uh, so we're gonna double click and make the warp marker right click on that set 111 to here right click on that again and warp from here straight now we want to look at things like this here for instance these everything kind of looks like it's almost where it needs to be uh, I'm just gonna turn on the metronome and give it a listen and see what we need to move around. So this note in here, boom. I think that is going to be good place for a one and so if, if you see if you notice here we got one two three four five six seven eight measures and then this would be our one so it would make sense that that would be right there uh, all this is pretty cool but it's like just not a lot of strict timing stuff going on here so uh, it might be cool to play that at the beginning of the song but then what we're gonna actually loop is gonna have to have something that has a little bit more consistency to it so in here is where we're gonna do that we might actually have to create some of that consistency So anytime you hear an obvious beginning of a measure and it happens to sit next to the perfect place like this, like 17, 17 is the one after the 16th measure, it's like too perfect. You gotta go with that. Same thing, I just heard a cymbal in there. I want to make sure that that cymbal, um, you know, generally it's going to hit on, like right on beat. Not always, but it's pretty, uh, pretty good to assume that. Thank you. 
just those few minor changes made a massive deal right there. You can almost kind of totally rearrange just through using warping and uh, adjusting warp markers. You can almost uh, completely rearrange the entirety of how this person constructed this song to begin with. Okay, so that should be enough for now. Uh, we can actually just probably cut it here. And Sometimes I'd like to make a separation. Um, just put the cursor there and hit Command E to separate, and then we can know that uh, you know these two these two things go together but they are going to be used for two different things so this part we can chop up and put a beat over and this part we can use as some sort of intro basically so uh, yeah next we'll go over uh, we'll put a beat to this something something like something like that. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, comment, all the above. Peace.